This nation is located in South Asia and is known as the land of Bengal. Bangladesh boasts a rich history, having endured British colonial rule for an extended period. The country embraces Hindu and Buddhist traditions, in addition to an Islamic culture that plays a significant role in its society. Despite its considerable area of about 148,000 square kilometers, Bangladesh faces a significant challenge due to its high population density. According to the 2020 census, the country's official population is 169 million people, resulting in an extremely high population density. This makes Bangladesh a complex country with numerous challenges related to overpopulation and pressure on available resources, similar to what is seen in India. In Bangladesh, it is evident that where there is a large concentration of people, there is also a noticeable and negative impact. If you wish to experience the atmosphere of Bangladesh, the country is known for its tropical beaches and lush, vast forests, offering breathtaking natural scenery. However, visitors should be aware of other challenges, as Bangladesh is known for its abundance of flies. Therefore, those planning a trip should include insect repellent in their luggage. Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, is the most developed urban area in terms of quality of life in the country and is also the most populous city, with about 23 million inhabitants. However, not many people desire to visit Bangladesh due to certain barriers that can hinder travel. Moreover, Bangladesh is prone to earthquakes and floods, so it is not surprising to face natural events like earthquakes during one stay. The idea of facing a disaster similar to a flood in a country where tens of people are affected by such events can be quite daunting. The society of Bangladesh emerged after the dissolution of Indian empires in the past, and although it has adopted a more Islam-oriented culture since the 12th century, it has never completely separated from India, its neighbor. In fact, during the 1900s, the geography of Bangladesh transformed into a place where the Muslim population was concentrated in the east and the Indian population in the west until 1991. This division has persisted, and the country has faced challenges in terms of governance. Despite efforts at reunification and reconstruction over the last 30 years, Bangladesh has been hit by floods and earthquakes making recovery difficult. One of the major problems contributing to the country's delay is undoubtedly overcrowding. Currently, the official language of Bangladesh is Bengali, and the number of people who speak English fluently on the streets is quite limited, with some speaking English with a distinct accent, which might make understanding difficult for first-time visitors. It's important to emphasize that the government of Bangladesh conducts its official correspondence and business negotiations in English, rather than in its native language. Now that we have provided an overview of Bangladesh, we can examine examples of life in the country. First and foremost, it's crucial to note that Bangladesh is one of the most economically disadvantaged nations in the world. Most people earn less than 5 euros a day, and observing their way of working, it's evident that many carry out their activities in a rudimentary manner. The minimum wage in the country is about 95 US dollars. As a result, the average income in Bangladesh is extremely low, making it one of the places with the cheapest labor globally. It's understandable, then, that large companies and international businesses are attracted to this opportunity. If a globally recognized brand is in charge, they might also consider establishing factories in nations with lower costs and reduced labor expenses for producing their products. Many large companies have already adopted this strategy, and numerous prestigious brands have production facilities in the country, seeing products manufactured in their stores worldwide and selling them at significantly lower prices compared to products made by American workers, for example. In Bangladesh, a company can employ 10 to 15 workers at the same place. On the other hand, walking through the streets of the capital, Dhaka, it's common to see people, regardless of their gender, carrying objects on their heads. Often, the lack of access to vehicles forces people to transport heavy loads in this manner. Additionally, on the streets, one can observe a myriad of intertwined cables connected to poles, likely intended for telephone and internet services. Moreover, this scene portrays an image that seems to belong to at least half a century ago, highlighting the country's scarce infrastructure. The flow of traffic on the streets of Bangladesh resembles the crowded streets of Vietnam and India, with the streets rarely remaining empty for a single moment due to constantly moving vehicles. Careless walking can significantly increase the risk of being hit by a motorcycle or a car, as there are no overpasses or underpasses available for pedestrians. Pedestrians face multiple dangers and challenges in attempting to cross from one side to the other. Additionally, near the streets, the incessant noise of horns, 
and the constant human buzz never cease. In many squares, traffic flows in multiple directions without traffic lights to regulate the flow, but with control entrusted to the police. If you are a person who appreciates tranquility and cannot tolerate constant noises, Bangladesh can. Be extremely disturbing as life there is drastically different from the daily routine. Even when walking on a relatively quiet street, the incessant honking can be annoying and cause stress. Public transport in the country often consists of old buses about 50 years old. The seats in these buses tend to be uncomfortable, and public transport is often overcrowded. For urban transport, there are bicycles that serve as taxis. But unfortunately, these bicycles are operated only by human strength and do not have engines. The saddest thing is that most of the cyclists are composed of skinny men, often with additional passengers, which can be tiring and uncomfortable. It is estimated that there are about 60 million of these bicycles in the country, and many people earn a living as taxi cyclists. As a result, squares are often the scene of disputes between cyclists or heated discussions among street vendors. Overcrowding, almost constant chaos at corners, and the challenging way of life make people easily irritable. While exploring the cities and markets of Bangladesh, you might notice that there are many street stalls at almost every corner. Although the sale of food is common, a concern is that these stalls often seem to lack adequate hygiene. Both the stalls and the places where they operate often appear unhygienic, with some vendors exhibiting poor personal hygiene. As a result, as a traveler, you might hesitate to consume food or beverages in Bangladesh for fear of possible health problems. In this country, education is almost a rarity, with only 20% of the population possessing basic reading and writing skills. This lack of education translates into a largely limited culture. Additionally, urban areas face severe pollution, and waste accumulation is a visible problem throughout the country. The situation is exacerbated by the frequent practice of people arguing on the street, so it is essential to develop an appreciation for the country in which one resides, despite its adversities. During your stay in Bangladesh, you might notice disproportionate attention directed at you on the street, which can be uncomfortable and intrusive, regardless of gender. This attention can seem both curious and an attempt to take advantage of you financially or otherwise. Even tourist guides who seem reliable must be treated with caution in a country where many earn the equivalent of three euros a day and exploitation is a reality. Therefore, it is crucial to be vigilant in your interactions, especially if your appearance reveals that you are a tourist, as this might lead to being overcharged. Without the accompaniment of a guide, it is likely that attempts will be made to exploit your lack of local knowledge. Regarding the cost of living, Bangladesh offers affordable prices for almost everything. Eating at a restaurant can cost about 2 euros, while the cost of lodging varies between 10 and 20 euros a night. A modest apartment in the center costs about 100 euros, while outside the center the price drops to about 60 euros. The monthly cost of groceries is about 100 euros. The monthly cost of living is variable but generally affordable, even though issues like health and hygiene quality remain points of discussion. In restaurants, instead of traditional menus, many places have open kitchens where you choose what to eat. However, be aware that prices might be inflated for tourists. For those visiting Bangladesh for a short period, there are historic temples and museums, but remember that tickets often have different prices for tourists. However, it is still possible to enjoy boat rides on the rivers, a unique experience that also helps support local residents. The consumption of alcohol is prohibited due to cultural norms making purchasing and consuming it complicated. There is a unique beauty in the fact that when they see a foreigner, local inhabitants usually approach with enthusiasm, offering warm welcomes and asking to take photos together. This friendly gesture makes the visitor feel appreciated and special. Indeed, Bangladesh is consistently distinguished as one of the countries with the fastest economic growth in the world in recent years. Economic analysts argue that the country is on a path of acceleration, not decline, driven by the vast population and the increasing number of well-educated citizens. These inhabitants, when meeting tourists, often share optimistic views on the prospects of their country. However, it is essential to recognize that even amidst these advancements with a population of nearly 170 million people, many in Bangladesh live in extreme poverty. Unofficial estimates indicate that about 5 million people live on the streets facing the harsh reality of homelessness. Reintegrating these homeless individuals into society and making them active participants in the country's development is a colossal task. Many, even if they have a home, 
live in precarious conditions, in makeshift dwellings that can hardly be called homes, without basic necessities like complete walls or adequate sanitary facilities. These residents often survive on discarded food and share these limited resources with their families, while others, without adequate means of transportation, risk traveling on crowded and dangerous trains. The country presents a stark contrast, with some areas appearing to emerge from a conflict, while a small portion of the population enjoys a luxurious lifestyle, suggesting an exploitation of national wealth by an elite minority. Bangladesh is often cited as one of the most challenging places to live due to the combination of high population density and widespread poverty, complicating efforts for sustainable development. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel to not miss other videos.